Today I'm going to show you how to build your very own log splitter stroke limiter. First let's go see it in action and then we'll break down the individual components and show you how you can build your very own, probably from materials you have laying around already. Alright, let's go see it. The log splitter is capable of splitting 26 inch long logs. Now I only run, you know, 16-ish, maybe 15-inch um, rounds, so I don't need the full 26-inch stroke. Now most of the time I just grab the handle and stop it when it's returning, um, but if you're busy doing something and you miss it and it goes all the way back, then you're waiting for the ram to again return back to where the wood is. So I built the stroke limiter so that when I'm in the uh, reverse position, it's kind of cocked and loaded. And then when the ram comes back, hits this pin, pops back and disengages the handle. So you can uh, drill holes in this pin, this rod, wherever you want to adjust uh, how long the stroke is. But for me, this gives me about, it's probably about two inches past where I would have stopped it by hand anyway. So it's really just a, a quick catch if it's gonna go too far. Okay, so let's take a look at the components that went into making the log splitter stroke limiter. Um, there's basically three components um, that I had to make or come up with. Um, there's the handle, there's the slide, and then there's the blocks that the slide uh, slides in. So let's look at each one of those in turn and I'll show you what modifications I made and, and why I made them. The first one to look at is the handle. So the standard um, log splitter handle stopped right here. Didn't have this uh, hook, this extension on it. And if you remember, um, when the splitter's in the retracting position, the handle's back like this and it locks into a detent. And as the ram's coming back, I wanted something that would grab this and pop the handle back. So we just found this uh, basically a, a J-bolt. This is something you would have uh, used like in a concrete anchor. I already had this nice 90 degree bend in it. It's basically 3 8 uh, solid steel. And I had to heat it up and bend it a few times down on this end to get it to line up just right. But that's, but this seems to be working about right. Um, it kind of lined, got close to the slide and gave me a nice 90 degree angle to, to grab onto and pull the handle back. The next component is the slide itself. So this is basically um, just a piece of half inch black pipe. I had this laying around for another project and it seemed to work uh, pretty good for this one. Um, a couple of modifications I made to it is I welded on this length of chain, basically three lengths of a chain, and that allowed the, the slide when it retracted to have something to pull on the handle with. And so it would get solid in this direction, but yet when you're extending the ram to split the wood, there's a lot of degrees of freedom here that the, the slide doesn't interfere with. So it really only locks in in the retracting position, and when you're extending, it's got plenty of freedom that way. On the bottom side of the slide, I've added a, a little uh, anti-rotation device, so I was afraid the slide would uh, tend to get hung up, that it would rotate down, and the chain would bind up either underneath or on top of um, the, the ram. And so that just kind of keeps everything lined up. It just floats right above the, right above the cylinder and keeps everything uh, nice and aligned. Inside, I've got a, a piece of 3 8 solid rod, had that laying around also. And um, I've got some holes drilled in here. So I've got one on the end, where you can pin it right like that to hold the, the rod in. And then when you're setting your length, how far you want to limit the stroke, you extend it out and I got another hole drilled and you can pin it right like there. So you can drill as many holes as you want, wherever you want to get different lengths. Um, for me, this works about right for the wood I'm doing, but I imagine if you're running longer stuff, you know, you might want it in like that or shorter stuff, you might have it out further. I also drilled a hole down at this end. Let me show you um, why that ended up going in there. So the slide rides in these uh, wooden blocks and it basically moves about this much, about an inch, back and forth, back and forth. And uh, I wanted something to keep it from sliding all the way out of the block too far forward. There are a lot of vibrations on a log splitter and I didn't want stuff uh, moving around on me. So I drilled a hole down here on this end. You can kind of see it there for another pin to go through here. 
and that basically captures the slide inside these two blocks so it can't go further forward and then when it tries to retract the the chain contacts the wooden block up front so it's kind of trapped in that little inch and a half or so um, stroke and that's just enough to you know pull the handle back out of the detent position and then be ready for the next time you're going to use it so the last thing um, we had to come up with is something for the slide to slide in um, I wanted to use um, plastic blocks that was my original plan was to find some plastic drill some holes and use that but I didn't have a big thick piece of plastic to use so I had these uh, pieces of oak so this is just some uh, oak that I uh, cut on the bandsaw drilled a hole for the slide and the, the hole is just slightly bigger than the slide so it slides in there pretty free um, I imagine if this was left out in the rain um, it might swell and bind up on the slide so if that's the case with your splitter drill a little bigger hole or you know find something that won't swell like plastic and then the radiuses I basically set up to where the bottom side is the size of the ram the cylinder and so it fits nice and tight on there and then the top side is just something so when I'm using these oversized hose clamps it kind of goes around the top and then around the bottom of the ram pretty smoothly so just kind of freehand that drop something that looks about right and uh, and you should be fine so there you have it there's the um, components I used to put together the log splitter stroke limiter um, again this is just made out of stuff I had laying around so whatever you know use the same concept but uh, whatever you have laying around I would definitely use that instead of going out and purchasing a bunch of stuff um, anyways if you have any questions leave them in the comments below I'll try to uh, get back to all of you and also if you end up making your own um, post a link to your video or a picture I'd love to see what uh, people have come up with trying to solve the same problem Alright, thanks for watching.